think he's awake, Devla. Morning. Slept well, didn't you, Nines? such an announcement. There's no reason for anything they do. Whew! I sure picked a cheery way to start a video now, didn't I? Alright, so I suppose now is a good time to start explaining what the heck I'm doing here. Um, one of my previous videos, I was trying to bypass this lock. And I actually did. And I got the thing that was behind it, and then I died to the boss that happened right afterwards. So, most of this video is going to be me showcasing little bits and pieces of that. But I'm also going to show you this. Now, a lot of people like to say, oh, this is like Dark Souls. Because, essentially, what is happening here is that when you play the game and you're online at the same time as others, you will find their bodies littering the ground roughly in whatever exact location they died in their game if they're playing at the same time as you. You can then resurrect that body and if you're lucky it follows you around as a creepy android skeleton buddy. If you're unlucky, well, we'll get to that later. But, this is just a nice little showcase of slowly creeping around on an android skeleton. And, to be honest, I don't know why I'm still showcasing this. So, I think now is a really good time to cut away to something else. Anytime now. Seriously, Nines, it's, uh, okay, we get it. Girlfriend's dead. Come on, can we, can we do anything else right now? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Nines. Good, she didn't fall. Oh, God, there she is. So, in order to actually get that door unlocked, you have to go through this really painstakingly annoying process of... <laughs> finding that area, and then going and talking to this Roman shopkeep, 
Emil, who is a long-running character in the Nier franchise, and by that I mean he's the moon-headed guy. And you might also want to watch out for the frickin' demon moose here, because this guy, this guy right here, he will come at you every single time. He is always level 99. If you are not prepared, he will kill you for no reason. No provocation. Nothing. He is the only moose that I know that is like this, and he's always there, and I hate him, and he gets the laser. And the sword, which misses, and... Seriously, Nines, can you... Thank you. Thank you, Nines. Okay, you got him. You got your moose meat. Good thing you can't even eat it. Ah, but... Anyway, so... The guy you're looking for is... Oh, okay, I guess we have to save now. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is smart, because you always want to save after you get the demon moose. I hate that thing. See, these moose are nice. These are some nice meese. Keep going straight this way. No, no, that is... Nines. Nines, I'm telling you where to go. Wh why are you spending so much time just slowly ambling around? We're on, a, we're on a tight budget here. I only have so much zero... There it is. Proposal. Use that guy, to right there. Got to shoot him down. Don't worry, he, don't worry about him. He's fine. Unlike these guys, which are not going to be fine. Provided you can use an attack that will actually. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Now we're talking. Speaking of talking, now that we've grabbed all this. Oh, here's another body to repair. I wonder if we're gonna have another buddy, another friendo. Hmm, I won't let you talk to Emil. Uh oh! No, it looks like 1Y is not a friendo. However, 1Y is also half my level and does not threaten me. Javelin, go! Alright, so anyway, you gotta go talk to Emil. You gotta, you gotta talk to Emil. Just gotta, just, just talk to him. It's not that hard, kid. Hit B. Talk to him. Jeez. All right, fine. Let's cut away to something else. I'll show you when it actually the good stuff starts. Actually. All right. So, I've made all the preparations. Everything's good. We're back in our secret cave, way at the bottom of the underground world, and I'm not going to show you how to get there because I want people to actually play this game and have some secrets to find out for themselves. Turn the lights on, thank you. Alright, now, when you finally get all the way to the deepest, darkest pit of the abyss, and make sure to javelin the crap out of everything that comes after you. Oh! panda again. That's interesting. Normally you, it's kind of rare to run into the same person. Must have been playing at the same time. It's kind of neat. You almost get attached. Alright, the javelin throwing is not working. Maybe you should... Alright. Thank you. Thank you, panda friendo. Wait, machine cork! Get it, get it, get it! Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Now, this is the kill box. <clears throat> You'll find out why. Remember that time when I said, hey guys, I got some cool new shit? Well, I'm gonna show you what you have to go through to get it. You're not gonna feel good about it. Because I didn't feel good about it. I 
because I just stole from one of my best friends in this game while my other friend watched. So you were the bandit all along? Yeah. You may be a cherished companion of mine, but you still must be punished. And what does Nines do? He throws the first punch. Because if he didn't, he'd die. Now, Panda's gone. I figured, if I have another guy. Nope. They've been dead for too long. Their infection worsens. Now you gotta fight more than one person. Alright. Dodge around the freaking laser. Don't let off of that right bumper. Hold down the left bumper. Drop some mad lasers. Retrieve Dr. Fate. That bus, that, that restores your health. A lot of people seem to forget that you are literally sitting on a pile of health that you get by essentially eating the corpses that are just lying around you. You know. But, you know, Nier's just, Nier's not anything interesting. There's no deep thematic content. It's just another one of those boring games that, you know, just breaks the fourth wall, even though that's nothing new. Pardon me if I ramble and rant a little bit. You know, it's not like this isn't a high-stress tension situation here. like to think this is the toughest boss in the entire game. It's not. But it is the one that makes you feel that the feel with the worst. Just the worst. But I gotta do it. I'm aiming for 100% completion. I gotta do it even if it hurts. And this is the part where I start to feel really bad about what I'm doing. Still doing it! If anything, the commitment and determination is what- I lost. I guess power is the only thing that counts in this world anymore, huh? Well, go ahead and use this room for whatever you like. I don't mind. Oh. Well, at least I got a pair of heads. And another head. That was worth it, right? That was worth the achievement.
received from access point. Come on, Nines. Let's go play. <laughs> 